Hey everybody, Sean here and welcome to Revealing Truth. And special thanks to Ian Sutter for sharing this. The video we're looking at today is with this lady, defending murder and saying it was good for Eve to eat the fruit in the garden. And why would she say this? Well, that's because this woman, Rebecca Todd Peters, is a woke pastor working with a despicable organization. Isn't it interesting that terminology today is all quite the opposite? Dude, that was sick! I mean, my generation would be like, are you okay? Are you not feeling good? Or how about, that was wicked, bro, meaning awesome. Wicked means evil from where I come from. And isn't it interesting that the term woke in relation to the church actually means the opposite. They are fast asleep and deceived. We're not gonna listen to this full video, but I'll leave the link below. I was shocked to hear her actually call God a liar. I love the story of Eve in the garden. My second child is named Eve. When we look at it with fresh eyes, it's quite a remarkable story. Have you ever noticed that God lied to Adam and Eve? No, he didn't, and we'll explain this in a moment. Have you ever noticed that God lied to Adam and Eve? While the serpent plays the role of the foil here, he's meant to set Eve up for her role as the bringer of wisdom and moral agency to the human community. The setup for this action that she takes is that God lied to her. God told the first couple, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it or you will die. And there's no lie with that at all. Sin entered the world and they started aging. And the serpent reveals the truth. You won't die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And this lady has the nerve of calling Satan the truth teller. How is him saying they will not die and they will be as gods, not lying? How can she say that's the truth? Well, of course she has a twisted understanding if she's trying to prove that killing the unborn is okay. But just to back things up with scripture, in Numbers 23, 19, we read that God is not a man that he should lie. In Titus 1, 2, we read that God cannot lie. And in Hebrews 6, 18, we read that it's impossible for God to lie. So anybody that has to twist scripture this bad to make a point is definitely someone to be avoided. Anyhow, just a quick one today, but as always, leave your comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.